एवरी वन वेलकम बैक माई यूट्यूब चैनल सेल्स फॉर्स हंट दिस इज रोहित एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू एक्टिव एंड डीएक्टिवेट प्रोसेस बिल्डर एंड फ्लो इन सेल्स फोर्स यूजिंग वी एस कोड सो इफ यू आर न्यू इन दिस चैनल सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो अंटिल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू एंड दिस इज द गुड प्रैक्टिस एवरी टाइम यू हैव टू यूज दिस एक्टिवेशन और डीएक्टिवेशन यूजिंग वी एस कोड बिकॉज no need worry about like uh, or every time you have to manually deactivate or activate the flow or process builder in the org this is bad practice and always follow the best practice about the activation and deactivation flow and make it your business process as automation as soon as possible right so let get it started without any further delay so now here let me open my org in this org I already created one process builder and one flow. Let me show you the first of all the process builder. So you can search from here in the quick find, like process builder. Okay, like process builder here. Just click on this process builder, and once you clicked on this process builder option, you will be see the number of process builder in your org. So right now in my org, I have. you know only one process builder demo pb and right now it's a inactivate right so let me activate it first of all click on this activate let me show you the vice versa how to activate deactivate using vs code so right now i'm manually doing this things after that after some time you will be see this automation right so right now here you can see that uh, it's a activate right now let me open the you know flow as well side by side so here let me search in the back to setup and search like flows click on this flows and here you can see one demo flow so let me open this demo flow here this is the flow builder screen here right and once you open this flow builder you will be see the status of this you know flow so right now this is the deactivate let me activate it so now you can see this is the also activated right so we have flow and process builder right now both are activate so how to retrieve this process builder and flow in my vs code let me show you here so now under here if you want to retrieve some some metadata from your org so always follow the org browser under this org browser we have lots of option right so right now if you want to fetch process builder inside your vs code so process builder comes under the flows folder and flow also comes same folder that is called flows folder right so all the automation all the automation things comes under the flows so now you can see the flows so let me refresh it and uh, you will be get to know these things so right now you can see two flows right one is process builder and one is flow that's why i already mentioned like demo pb means process builder and demo flow means flow so both are coming in this folder that is called flows right so how to retrieve that so you can retrieve from here as well so you can override if you have but i already retrieve so that's why it's showing me uh, this override things so let me show you where it is so under the flows folder let me open this first this is the flow you know demo flow and this is the process builder right so let me retrieve it retrieve from the org and uh, also same thing you can retrieve from the org this one as well once you retrieve it right so you can see the definition of the flow flows and process builder right here you can see this is status right now is the active same thing you can see in the last in the last you can see object type account status you will be see somewhere like active status you can see the status is activate right now so how to make it activate deactivate using vs code let me show you so if you need this kind of automation just you have to follow this folder that is called flow definition just click on this flow definition and retrieve your flow or you know for process builder so just let me click on this one in this two file right now you can see the zero version and once you retrieve from the or you will be see 
like one version means it's activate right now it's activate here you can see the one version let me open the second file as well let me retrieve from the org because i need to sync up all the things with my org so here you can see active version 2 and this version 1 means both are like flows and process builder is activated now right so how to deactivate so let me deactivate first of all this process builder so if you want to make it your process builder deactivate using vs code so always make it your activation version number 0 0 means deactivation just save it and deploy your flow definition so just deploy it and after some time you will be see like successfully message and now let me open my org under this org you can see right now it's activate just please observe let me refresh it and you will be see like deactivation this flow here so once you refresh it now you can see inactivate means deactivate and also once you go the inside this process builder you can see like this is the deactivation flow right so based on your requirement you can do that like this so let me show you the flow flow also we activate right now let me deactivate the flow so make it the version as zero save it and deploy your flow so once you deploy it you will be see the success message here and after that you have to refresh it please observe right now it's activate just after that you will be see like deactivation in these things so let me refresh this page and let's see here so here you can see activate means this is the deactivate the flow i already shown these things like how to deactivate the process builder and flow builder now it's time to learn how to activate deactivation flow and process builder so just same process you can follow it make it this version 0 to 1 if you have any version like uh, 0 1 2 3 something like that based on your active version you can use it let me save it and let's see this flow is activate or not let me deploy it i need to deploy first version as a active so now you can see successfully deployed now let me go to the this one and now after some time you will be see like this flow automatic activate so let me refresh it and now you can see here now you can see it's activate okay so based on your requirement you can do that so i already shown these things like activation deactivation under the flow now it's time to how to activate this process builder right same thing you can follow it just go to the flow definition here under this one which version you want to activate or deactivate based on your requirement so right now here just let me go to the view all processes or view pr uh, processes here view all processes and now just click on this one you can see version 1 right and also you uh, you can see that this is the inactivate so how to activate let me show you just make it one for this process builder and just let me deploy this one once you deploy it now you can see successfully deployed and now let me refresh it and uh, you will be see like activation after some time once you refresh this page so now let me refresh it and now you can see here like activate please observe this is the activate here okay so this is the way to activate deactivate flow in your org so this is the best practice and it's a automation things in the salesforce no need worry about like every time you have to go to the org and just manually you have to activate or deactivate the version or you know flow and process builder based on your need right but this is the best way and this is the automation so you can make it everything in automation in your org okay as much as you can right so guys i hope you learn something new in this video if you feel like this is very informative for us so please subscribe my youtube channel share like subscribe and comments with your friends and colleagues so till then bye bye take care thank you for watching